Alright. We're done here in Kingman. Hooked up, just letting the computer do its pre trip countdown, and uh, I'm out of here. Hopefully, it's for real this time. Yeah, so if you hadn't been keeping up, uh, I've been broke down for a little bit over here in Kingman, Arizona, and I had this big boom lift that I picked up in Vegas that needs to get over here to Albuquerque. As soon as I got that thing ready, I, got, I left Kingman, came right here, slept right here in the driveway so I could unload first thing in the morning like we're doing right here. Let's get some trucking done, man. Stick around. Hey, while we got a minute, could you give this video a like, subscribe, and ding the bell to get notified every time I put up a video. To submit to the viewer's voice, hit me up on Instagram or Facebook Messenger. And check out the pre-trip, post-trip podcast at rumble.com. Woo! You know, every now and then you gotta sit back and make an evaluation on uh, your operation. That's just what I've done here. I uh, decided to park the step deck for a while and drag around this flatbed, pulling some customer direct freight right out of my hometown. I mean, I just go down the street and uh, I tie down the freight on a already loaded flatbed trailer. Then once I get it off, I can find some freight like I did here, found this paper that's going right back home, or I'll just deadhead home, whatever. It seems to be going pretty good so far. I don't know, I may just have to stick with it, man. I mean, geez, I just spend the night at home every night, and every weekend, see my wife every damn night, have a life again outside the truck. That sounds fantastic. Quick unload. You're not allowed to be outside the uh, the truck when they're loading. Ow! Yeah. Loading and unloading. Boy, what a skate job! I'm king of the PPE, homeboy. Get to work. You know, for years I've had people tell me, why, why ain't you gone local, man? I don't know why you don't go local. Why would you stay OTR? Why would you want to stay over the road? I sleep in my bed every night and I make $500,000 a year. I'm home every night, every weekend. I go out on my boat. Every day when I get off work after five hours of work, your life sucks. Mine is so great. <laughs> you know, my trailer needs some work, and I, you know, I've, the money, I've been having to put a lot of money into the truck, and, um, I need to park it for a while. Seems like everybody's got a step deck and it just, the rates are shit. I can get one of these every single day, run it up to the city and hopefully get something that comes back. But I, I guess the rate, you know, the deadhead is in there. 
I just have always envisioned myself as a long haul trucker. Like that's that's what I do, man. That's who I am. Motherfucking long haul. I always thought I would have a hard time being local, and I I have tried that before, and it did go bad. It went, but it was a nine like a nine to five job, and you know you're being told what to do, and people are micromanaging. I've always just been good at. Uh, managing being over the road a whole lot better than I can being at home because I go home and I don't want to leave. I don't want to do shit because it's another part of that mentality of being over the road all the time. And well, when you, when you get home, you, you know, that's your break time. And it's hard to leave because you're not going to be back in a long time, like a couple weeks, a month. Think about it now, as far as local, I own the truck. I, all I do is just get it up there, point A to point B. Can I do that? Can I be a local driver? I mean, I just, I go pick up a preloaded trailer tie it down, take it from that location, which is my town, I live there, and then take it to Oklahoma City and come back and grab another one. And you're home every night. You know. now, I do get up and I leave early, but so what? <laughs>